Hi! Today I am still filming outside and I have a pyramid in my video. Um, yeah, so we're in the middle of the woods, pretty much, kind of. And yes, there's a pyramid, but I think it's more like a mausoleum or something. Someone maybe buried there. But I thought it's uh, pretty cool to have a pyramid in my video. So, okay, what are we doing today? I'm doing a hashtag, a video response to Petsy from Two Paths Tarot. And her hashtag is for the love of cards. And she has 10 questions. So let's get right to it. Number one, first deck. My first deck. Uh, my first deck was my Sailor Moon tarot that I showed in my uh, first tarot hashtag video. Mm, number two, my favorite deck creator. <sighs> um, I don't know the name out of, off the top of my head. I think I'm gonna put it somewhere. But it's the artist who did the Initiatory Golden Dawn and the Ludi Lescott Tarot. That's the same artist. And he also did a couple other Los Scarabeo um, decks. And I really like that, that comic book art style kind of thing. Um, number three. What's your favorite tarot system? Tarot, Oracle, Kippa, something else. Um, my favorite is tarot. That's the one thing I wouldn't want to live without. I have lived without Oracle decks uh, for a long time, but I don't want to live without tarot. Mm, I don't work with Kippa cards. I don't work with L Lenormand. Uh, so, yeah, tarot. Uh, question number four. Uh, what's your favorite system within tarot? And that would be RWS, the Rider Waite Smith uh, system. Because I don't uh, read Marseille, I'm not all that familiar with uh, Thoth, even though I do have decks that incorporate that. But RWS is my kind of system. Number five, what is the last deck that you bought? Uh, wait a minute. That would be this one, the Lover's Path Tarot. <laughs> Number six, what's your favorite deck right now? <sighs> I was hoping I could say the art history past life tarot by now, but it's still somewhere on its way to me or it got lost. I don't know. I've been waiting for that. It was cleared uh, out of customs one and a half weeks ago, but it still hasn't found its way to me. So um, I guess my favorite tarot at the very moment, because it's very new, will be this one the Ansata Tarot. Mm. Your favorite deck of all time. My favorite deck of all time. Oh, that's a, that's a tricky one. Different decks for different reasons. I like my Sailor Moon Tarot because it's the only deck that I ever used to do a reading for my grandma with. I like my Los Scarabeo. Uh, tarot because it has really clear um, messages. It's very easy to access. But I also like my hybrid tarot. That's a mix of the Initiatory Golden Dawn with some cards from the Ludi Lescott. Uh, so I guess it's either my Los Scarabeo or the the Arcanum Hybrid um, deck but it would probably be a Los Scarabeo deck. Number eight. What deck would you love to own? I am hunting for the Tildwick Tarot. 
I don't think I'm ever gonna get it uh, because of the price that uh, people put on it because it's a limited edition. I think there's only 1,000 or 2,000 uh, ever made. And so that is a very difficult deck to come by. I mean, I could buy it for an enormous amount of money, but I'm not willing to spend that much money. So we'll see. Uh, number nine, what is a deck that you struggle with? A deck that I struggle with, um, or actually I should say maybe a deck that I don't really feel drawn to is the Spirit Within Tarot and the Fenestra Tarot. So the Spirit Within Tarot, I saw it in many videos and I thought I would like it because in the videos it really looked good, but when I had it in my hand, my first thought was Thank goodness I got this as a used copy and it wasn't that expensive. <laughs> I know this sounds really mean, but I don't know, I, I got it in the spring, maybe it's it's the colors, maybe it's a deck for winter, but as of now I haven't been drawn to that deck. And the same with the Fenestra Tarot. I love the manga uh, art style, but the colors mm, haven't really spoken to me yet. So maybe in the fall or in the winter. We'll see. And number 10, if you could have any deck tailor made for you, what would it be or what would it look like? Okay, if I could have a deck tailor made for me, that would there's two decks that I would like to have. And number 1 would be a uh, Sailor Moon Tarot, a complete 78 card deck, but not fan art and not screenshots from the anime but rather the original artwork from Naoko Takeyoshi, the original creator of Sailor Moon. And um, I have some of her artwork because they, um, they put out um, a six book uh, series uh, with her artwork uh, around, when was that, like the mid, late 90s, something like that. And um, if I don't forget to do it, then I will insert some of that artwork right here. And I would love a deck that is specifically created as a tarot deck and not just some images slapped onto the cards because they are already there. I would like the creator to really sit down with the tarot system and figure out what specific scene she could draw. Um, to create that deck. And another deck that I would really love to have, um, and I think I've said this before in, in another video, the Avatar Last Airbender um, tarot. And I would include the story of Aang and Korra because that just gives a bigger variety of characters to choose from. And what I like about that is you already have all the four elements that would make up the four suits. And therefore you have the some of the people that would be that, that go with each of these um, elements um, so that narrows it down and it would probably end up being a lot better than the Game of Thrones tarot which uses only half of the characters that are in the stories and half of the places and half of the story in general so yeah I think that could be a pretty fun deck, the Avatar Last Airbender deck. So yeah, that's all 10 questions. Thank you Patsy for doing that. This was fun. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!